Hello, this week I thought I would talk to you about my current obsession with hexagons. You know, I'm doing the 100 hexes in 100 days. And it just starts out with a one inch hexagon. I have a one inch paper. I cut it out on my Cricut and then I glue them with Elmer's school glue. And one becomes a flappy group of several. I attach them around the center and I'm using a whip stitch. Now I'm not going to do a tutorial on how to do it because I am not an expert, but I use a little tiny milliner's needle and make a ton of tiny little stitches. I use the whip stitch and a so fine bottom line. That's what it is. Superior's bottom line thread or so fine would be good. And look, you can't even see the stitches. I've gotten pretty good. It's all about taking tiny bites. And those flowers have become solidly finished flowers with papers in them. Then I starch them, take the papers out, and I have decided to machine applique them to this background. And you can see my start and stop. And I have seven of these wonderful appliques done. Now, how am I gonna sash them? What am I gonna do? How many am I going to make? I don't know. That's the fun. I like to make things up as I go along. That has been my obsession. Now, with the hexagons of sewing them together is making hexagons. And the theme so far has been Sewer's Choice, Treasure, and Party. So I will put some still photos of these seven or more hexes that I have made all to go into my hexy pre-made hexy scrap stash and use in future projects but I did get so motivated to finish my temperature quilt I did 30 weeks not 52 because the weather wasn't changing much in 2019 I didn't know what I was doing and I put them together but once I figured out I wanted a border on it, I used the same method with a sewing machine. So let me show you my temperature quilt from 2019 and that will get you up to date on all of the things that I have been doing this last week in my quilting. And it's been fun. It has been just perfect because hand sewing has been really good for me had a little bit of a springtime cold not anything more I was tested and uh, it's been great when I'm watching a show and there's something very zen about hand stitching I finished up all my knitting um, my loom knitting for a while I did a big scarf and um, I may show a wrap up on the loom knitting in a future video but hand sewing it's light it's it's not heavy in your lap and hot and then that brings me into binding season because I have a lot of quilts to bind and we'll I'll show you those uh, when I get them bound and that may take me several months <laughs> but I have also been long arming and so it's been good it's been very good around here to keep busy and to keep my hands sewing so let me show you my temperature quilt. And there it is. It is all sewn and ready to long arm. So when I do my long arming roundup, hopefully this will be part of it. And let's zoom in and you can see that some of my stitching was new. And you can see that I machine stitched it. I love that zigzaggy look from the hexagons onto that wild and crazy border that looks like a weather map. So you guys have a great week 
and we'll see you next time. Quilt on, everyone.